cartel uh, or also people who might be involved in terrorism or other nationalities, not necessarily even people from Central or South America, but also people who might be from the Middle East, might be from China, might be from India. We've heard reports of that happening at the border as well, haven't we? Yes. I mean, another one of the things that he brought up yesterday as well is what kind of parents are putting their kids on these trains that the drug cartels running and just shipping them off to the drug cartel, you know, with, with God knows where, if they're going to show up or not. Yes. Now, there was an article that was up on Drudge about uh, some of the Border Patrol agents are now testing positive for some of the diseases that are coming through. Tell us what he said about the CDC's attitude towards this. Center well, for I Disease asked, Control. Yeah, I asked him about some of the diseases I heard. I, mean, I asked him, I was like, well, you know, what is the possibility of infectious disease and passing over in our borders? And he said, that's a good question. I'm glad you asked that. He said, I personally called CDC because of that problem. And they said that it's not their concern. It's not their issue. So right now, they don't even really? have any plans to come down here and look into this. Meanwhile, yesterday, he sent me a text saying that the last group that came through yesterday was about 150 people had scabies, chicken pox, and lice. And these people are being caught and then released out in dark country. Wow. So the CDC essentially says uh, it's not their job. They're yeah, not concerned not about that. Uh, yeah, they're not concerned about it what, you know, one bit whatsoever. Meanwhile, our border's wide open, and this stuff's just coming right into our country. Wow, wow. Is that interview going to go up as, a, as another article about the uh, CDC's attitude? Yes, roger that. Man. I mean, another yeah. thing was, you know, you could tell when you watched the video, he seemed very nervous. You know, a lot of these guys are being told not to talk, and we know that the Border Patrol in general, they were told not to speak to media at all. I mean, they, you know, threaten to lose their jobs and things like that. So, I mean, that's just another one of those. I've been told, hang on, Joe, I've been told uh, by Nico here that he's got that clip queued. Let's, let's hear what they had to say about the CDC. All right, today we spoke to Stuart Harris. He's the vice president of the Border Patrol Union Association here in El Paso, Texas. We got reports today, I was actually reading that uh, there was a swine flu outbreak at the, at the Lackland Air Force Base. Right up there and I've been there recently and you know spoke with DHS and some people up there. Anybody that comes into this country could be bringing a disease um, but the, the bigger concern here with that particular issue is the fact that you may have a thousand people housed in the same area and all it takes is, is one or two with, with an infectious disease and you've got a problem on your hands. Now, are these actual licensed people who you know check for diseases or are these just Border Patrol agents just trying to do what they can based off what you know, a bit of equipment they have, or is there like some CDC personnel or something like that? Well, I, I, I'm glad you mentioned CDC. I actually uh, called the CDC for, you know, to see if this would be something that they were interested in, and uh, I was informed that since they're not a regulatory body, they had no interest in this issue. Uh, wow. But, yeah. But our, our, our Border Patrol agents, we have, you know, a good number of agents that are trained uh, as emergency medical technicians, and when the people from RGV come here to El Paso, uh, that's part of the process here is they go through that medical screening with the EMTs and then they're sent out to, to other stations in the sector. Well, we definitely need to get a hold of CDC. That's pretty ridiculous. I mean, the borders are wide open. All these people are coming and you think they would want to check that out. Uh, that's why I called them. I thought they might be interested in it. But <laughs> One of the questions I asked him earlier was, are any of these kids or immigrants coming in from Central America carrying diseases? And he said, yes. And uh, he got, I got a text maybe about an hour ago, and he said that out of the group that came in today, they had chicken pox, scabies, and lice. And the people who are scanning these guys for diseases are just regular Border Patrol with some EMT training. They are not CDC personnel. Stuart Harris said that he tried to contact the CDC, and they refused to come down here. They said it's a situation that they feel like is not worth looking into. Wow, that's amazing. So it appears, uh, Joe, that the uh, fix seems to be in. Uh, the CDC is going to play along like many others in the bureaucracy and the mainstream media. They see no evil. They hear no evil. Uh, they're just going to essentially ignore it. Yeah, I mean, I, I just don't understand. I mean, that, it's so unbelievable that they would not want to come and check this out. Like I said, especially for however 150 to get through that they know about. There's probably another 150 to 200 people to get through that we don't know about. Well, that's, that's amazing. We certainly appreciate the Border Patrol agents who are speaking up about what's going on there. We're going to have some more information from Staff Sergeant Joe Biggs at the border of El Paso and Mexico. We'll be right back.
It's been said, those who control the food control the people. Are you concerned about GMO foods making you sick and affecting your mind? Many people suffer from lack of energy, insomnia, loss of stamina, weight gain, and the inability to think clearly. Genetically modified crops, processed foods, and toxic chemicals can compromise your health and are silently destroying your digestive system, which accounts for 80% of your immune system. Take back control of your health with Pro-EM1 Probiotic from Terraganics. Pro-EM1 Probiotic helps protect your body against irritable bowel syndrome, constipation, Crohn's disease, celiac disease, diabetes, the common cold, and much more. And including a powerful probiotic like Pro-EM1 as part of your daily routine puts you back in control and prevents you from becoming a mindless zombie manipulated by the pharmaceutical and GMO agendas. Call Terraganics at 866-369-3678 or visit Terraganics.com. T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. Man, when I get home from work, all Betty does is watch her reality TV and then she goes to sleep. I can take her on romantic dates, I get her flowers, you name it. She's just not the woman I married. Oh, Ralph, that's just awful. Does this seem familiar? Are the honeymoon days of your relationship long gone? If so, consider the abundance of chemical additives, pesticides, BPA containers, contaminated tap water, and other toxic substances found in our environment. Experts know our bodies are suffering and being thrown off balance, especially when it comes to your natural systems. Forget synthetic chemicals. Super Female Vitality brings forward key herbs specifically chosen for women's biology without the use of phony additives. Get your bottle of Super Female Vitality today at InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com, or call 1-888-253-3139. InfoWarsLife.com. Live life healthy. Gentlemen, in search of a million-dollar smile that'll make them take notice, I mean really get their attention, then get the mud. My Magic Mud. The fluoride-free whitener with no chemicals, additives, GMOs, or bad taste. And safe to swallow. My Magic Mud detoxifies, reduces sensitivity, cleans and strengthens your teeth while it whitens. Comes as a powder for pure whitening power. Start looking good for that special someone. Get the mud now. MyMagicMud.com we the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit and carding to a private bank, having it led back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. How can you save a ton of money and prepare for emergencies? By having your own in-home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. Now you can cut down on wasted food by freeze drying your leftovers. That's right. Create your own long-term food storage by freeze drying your own fruits, meats, vegetables, even complete meals with the Harvest Right in-home freeze dryer. Imagine the savings and the peace of mind. See how the amazing Harvest Right freeze dryer works at HarvestRight.com. Attention all radio listeners, Survival Life is giving away free credit card knives exclusively to our radio listeners here today. Visit MyCreditCardKnife.com to see this covert knife in action and claim yours for free. It's the same knife you've seen in the airline magazines for $29.95, but today it's yours free. Just pay shipping and handling. MyCreditCardKnife.com, MyCreditCardKnife.com. Go now. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, and I'm joined on the phone with Staff Sergeant Joe Biggs, who's on the border between El Paso, Texas, and Mexico. He's spoken on a couple occasions to uh, the vice president of the local Border Control uh, Union. They're a uh, fellow who has told us, and we have an article up on Infowars.com, that the cartels are using amnesty to smuggle whatever they want into the United States. Very concerned about that. Morale is very low amongst the border patrol agents and um, i want to ask you uh staff sergeant uh what about their fear of uh recrimination yeah he said that's that? one of the things they're, they're, they're can you hear me yes go ahead yeah he said that's one of the things that a lot of the agents are you know are worried about they're being told not to talk so that's it's a 
you know, already being frustrated with your job and not being able to do what you're paid to do. And then on top of that, being told if you talk to media whatsoever that you could lose your job, you know, that's going through a lot of their minds. I mean, they see us come up with a camera, they immediately just turn around and want to get out of there. That, to me, is, is really telling. You know, one of the things that he said in this interview was that, of course, these economic conditions and the violence that's been going on in Central and South America with the drug wars there, he says that's been going on for more than 10 years. So why did this suddenly change? Well, it changed in response to the Obama administration's catch and release program. So they're very concerned about that, but they don't want anybody to talk about that. They want to gag that from anyone. The public is not supposed to know what's going on. And, of course, the uh, CDC, as he pointed out to you in the last segment we are just talking about, the CDC doesn't want to know about diseases that are coming across. I mean, it's kind of like, you know, the thing with the three monkeys, see no evil, hear no evil, uh, speak no evil. You know, they don't want to know or talk about or completely ignore this. Yeah, he said that the simplest way to end this entire problem would be in that catch and release program. I mean, it's as simple as that, but it's not going to happen because we need our dreamers to come across the border and, you know, get the votes in. That's just amazing. And, of course, uh, when he talked about the CDC not being concerned about tuberculosis, about scabies, about chickenpox coming across the border, I mean, look at the the propaganda that we get all the time about flu vaccines, and yet they're not concerned about any of this stuff. We've got a, a virus detected in Mexico. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this correctly. It's a ch chikungunya or something that's out of... Uh, out of Mexico at C-H-I-K-U-N-G-U-N-Y-A. And this is a virus that spreads through mosquito bites, gives you fever, headache, nausea, vomiting, rash, muscle, or joint pain, incapacitating joint pain, very severe pain. This is something that is uh, in Mexico now. Anybody that's either coming from Mexico or passing through Mexico, coming from uh, South America, as many of these people are, they could possibly be bringing that in as well. These are not trained medical staff that they have there. When they ask for the CDC to help them, the CDC says that's not our job. Yeah, when you said that they were scanning people for these viruses, I was sitting there thinking, well, then CDC has to be down here. It's like, no, these are just war patrol agents who have gone through very, you know, basic EMT training, EMTB training. So, I mean, that's mind-blowing. I went to EMT school, and I definitely would not know how to deal with diseases, you know, on that level. So what are they saying, in, in their estimation, uh, what did he say was the number that they were estimating that they're seeing coming through, and how many do they think are coming through that they're not seeing? 150 per day that they know of in that ballpark, and then you said it'd probably be anywhere from about another 150 to 200 that they don't know about because there's spots that are being left. And uh, we put up a video the other day, actually, we were out filming some B-roll looking into Juarez over I-10 at the Rio Grande, and Border Patrol vehicle pulls up, opens the gate, and drives off. And we sat for a few hours. No one comes back, no one locks that gate. That was a main <laughs> gate left open right on I-10 Wow. into the city of El Paso in a slum part of Juarez, Mexico. Well, you know, that actually, Joe, that's kind of a metaphor, isn't it, for what's going on all the way across the border. They've just put it wide open. They're not going to allow you, however, to come into this country through an airport without going through customs, without going through multiple screenings by Homeland Security, without having your passport vetted. But the border, they just leave wide open. Amazing how the hypocrisy of what's going on at the border and contrasting that with the way they treat us here in this country. Thank you so much. Joe Biggs reporting live from El Paso. Check out that article on Infowars.com. The interview, cartels using de facto amnesty to smuggle whatever they want into the United States. Now, coming up, we've got a report from Alex Jones. We're going to come to right after the break. You know, Friday is the day that uh, new releases come out in the movie theaters. Now, this is not coming out today, but we have a first look at the sequel to Prometheus, Prometheus 2 Paradise. Alex Jones is going to break down what's been leaked about that, tell you what is behind that. So don't miss that special report coming up right after the break. Stay with us. We'll be right back. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. 